Hey, how you doing guys? Zara here. So today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the, uh, the Last of Us Part 2 and regarding its leaks and uh, basically what's been happening. Now, before I do progress into this commentary again, I need to mention that I will not be talking anything regarding of the spoilers and also I will not be showing you anything regarding of the spoilers either. So you do not have to worry about those things. But, um... Of, of course, this actually will mean that it will be little, actually will be very difficult to explain a lot of things where I'm trying to get at if I don't talk about the spoilers. But again, I'm not going to talk about that. So I'm going to try to do kind of a twisting words and the uh, so like a lot of people would not be able to understand me, but I'll be sure to know what I'm what I'm talking about. Now, again, it's actually quite interesting because I've actually been looking through YouTube a lot of different uh, people's perspectives and opinions regarding what they have thought of the leaks and, uh, you know, the leaks from The Last of Us Part 2. This is important for me to clarify that this is not the leaks that are coming from 4chan, it's not coming from any of those not even credible sources. This is a real deal. This is confirmed. It's 95% is definitely going to happen not necessarily by belief but because we have seen so many proofs already and significant proofs mind you of course this has been already confirmed by the naughty dog also neil drogman that he was very disappointed to see that he was heartbroken right because like the the leak the story driven game has been leaked out and all this substantial plot is up in the air right now all over the internet and it's extremely dangerous for any of us to look up online anything related with the last of us part 2 because you may even ac accidentally encounter with this basically what's happening and mind you there are some substantial things that you need to definitely be careful of, of what you see because it's very possible even by a simple glimpse of a picture screenshot from the gameplay a lot of things can tell you and uh, they're not good things as well. Now, definitely need to little talk about as well people's opinions that they absolutely hate the plot and how this actually turns upside down and the you know how Naughty Dog basically wanted to go and approach this game, The Last of Us Part Two, and people do not like it. People even saying at this point they're glad that the leak uh, leaker well pretty much leaked the whole well almost the whole game the most substantial plots and most substantial things and yet um yeah they're just saying you know for example i'm so glad the way i didn't buy this game now i'm not going to be super disappointed about this game for example yeah, top of my mind amazing uh, look amazing lucas is an example he's very disappointed a few other people as well uh for example tyro magnus Dumps uh, Vila as well, but basically, you know, there's a lot of people just do not like what they have seen and uh, just simply don't like what they have heard or, you know, it's just sucks. Yes, it's understandable. They were looking forward to the game. They're one of their most anticipated game of 2020 actually has been The Last of Us Part 2. For me, it's actually not. It's in my third place being the most anticipated since I already mentioned it back in December 2019. I made even a whole video about that. Check it out. I'll leave that links below in the description. I put it in the third place. Second place was The Ghost of Tsushima. First place is obviously Cyberpunk. But yes, um, I'm disappointed to see that the game has been leaked. It is very disappointing for the developers that they put time and effort and the blood and sweat into this game. Well, not, the, not literally blood, but you know what I mean? Just a bit of a, a metaphor, a bit of talking on my part. <laughs> But yes, um, definitely need to touch on just that, you know, after five, six, seven years of development time, making this game the best as they can. Yeah, that went kind of a completely different direction and just it just sucks, man. I really, really am sorry about a lot of people that did not want to get this game leaked and um, also a lot of people who have read it by an accident and never wanted to read these leaks leaks and uh, now obviously they can't revert it back because it's too late but also a lot of people do that did want to read the re uh, leaks or see the leaks uh, it's unfortunate but it's just how it has to go uh, it seems so but anyway uh you know it's unfortunate that as well a lot of people that are pretty much super against the game because of what they have heard and uh, they hate the plot and how everything goes about again i'm not gonna mention what is happening do not worry but yes i still personally believe like you need to wait for the game to come out experience it for yourself and then judge it after but again we have the 
a whole pre a whole plot of the game right here in, in our hands in front of us and we're like months before the game's release and so a lot of people say like for example well that's still dumb to do experience the journey how you go through so it makes sense how these plots are kind of ended up going with this direction <clears throat> maybe things has been forced maybe it's natural to happen like this way but why should we judge the game by right by why should we judge the game by its cover if it's kind of disappointing for a lot of people and there are being and uh, I agree to that like point I have made my own points uh, like before the game even released for example bleeding edge right I even said up front it looks trash I hate the fucking looking thing of a game I do not like it in some points I was right even though I'm being uh, ignorant I'm being ignorant when I say this like I'm just proving myself correct and telling you guys that I was right you know I am being ignorant in this point like a lot of people when they do get the game but they were super disappointed what they've heard from the leaks and then they say uh, well the review in their own review let's say right they enjoy what they play so they're not gonna apologize they're not gonna they're not gonna, they're not gonna take their words back but what makes this worse people that they did see the leaks and decided uh, not to buy this game at all then and like the game actually ends up being fantastic but they never tried it they're not gonna take their words back maybe that's what they just truly believe but after a while when they do try it they're still not gonna take their words back some people might some people will not of course but again this is just a, you know a bit of my opinion in here how people think anyway uh, of course, I could be wrong a lot of, about the things like that, how people would like to go about with the game that they pretty much did not know anything about un until the leaks came out. Man, it's just so unfortunate, really. Like, imagine you would play this for yourself and you experience all these quality things and um, such a substantial uh, movements in this game, and yet everything has been leaked. Ah, that's incredible. Like, it actually, I don't believe it ever happened this up to this caliber before of a game pretty much a story driven game mind you been leaked this drastically that's that's so so substantial is insane one of the most anticipated games and yet getting leaked like that wow that's incredible again we have heard about the you know the employee just getting pretty much mad about it for example that's why he leaked the whole thing uh, because he's not getting his profit he's not getting his pay or something like that or uh, extra or bonuses something on those lines but still I don't believe that's what he should have done anyway because still he broke uh, like he did break the NDA right and uh, a lot of people say as well like he did not sign the NDA and um, or if he would have then he would have received the cash but maybe he did receive the cash so but he did not sign the NDA anyway so this is why he still uh, leaked all these footages and gameplays and uh, screenshots and stuff like that and the and, uh, information but you know uh, he's still going to be in the big trouble unless of course if you if the naughty dog um you know the developers will not be able to find him and uh, that that's going to be interesting to find out how they're going to find him because man it's just su it sucks it really does but uh, what can we do all right well guys i'm gonna keep it short for this one and uh, I feel like I definitely need to make a video about uh, and talk about the spoiler category of the game, what I have ex like heard about, like complete spoiler spoiler story. Now, of course, I'm going to be mentioning at the beginning of that video as well that I'm going to be heavily uh, talking about the spoilers of the game, uh, you know, of the video and the conversation. So it's important for me to clarify. But yes, again, I'm not going to be showing anything in terms of the uh, the gameplay or even uh, brand new trailers or cutscenes. Sorry, not the trailers, but the cutscenes and the gameplays uh, or even pictures because you know Sony, they're you know they're pulling down all these videos. But you know, yeah, I could get also in trouble even simply talking about it too. But hopefully not. Hopefully they will not be able to. <laughs> hopefully they will not be able to find these sort of videos. But whatever whatever but i mean like so many other people already done it so and i just wanted to share my opinion on that too also before i go um lucas gaver and also raven star thank you so much for the continued support on my patreon and i guys if you want to take a look at my patreon uh, links down below in the description if you wish to support me for just a dollar a month you can actually get an access to my early big videos my one of my big videos is up right now on patreon uh, it will be publicly available on 
Friday, the first of May, basically. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. That's gonna be exciting. That's gonna be exciting. All right, well, I'll let you go now. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all again. And uh, yeah, have a good one.